up guys welcome back to another video appreciate you coming back so i've had a couple of you um, guys and girls ask about the derby cover for nice cnc the dependability um about the polycarbonate glass if it's durable is it interchangeable things like that so i figured i would do a quick video to show you something that happened with mine if if some of you have noticed um, from previous videos, like, oh, what happened to your gold and clear derby cover and noticed it's off your bike, is everything all right with it? Well, so a few weeks ago, when I was changing my primary fluid, I took the derby cover off um, and I wiped it down the inside like I've done a million times before. And somehow, as you can see, it like fogged up and got like a weird film. I don't know if you can hear that. It got like a weird film on here um, that won't come off. So the fine people at Nice CNC, I reached out to them and they were able to send me um, just the replacement polycarbonate. It looks cloudy because there's a protective uh, layer of plastic on each side. So I'm going to show you how to get the old one out, put the new one in, and then we'll get it all put back on the bike. This will also be a good time to show you how I was explaining in this video here. It's the original video when we installed this. Some of you asked, is this outer ring removable to have the lettering powder coated over? And yes, it is removable. That's how we're going to remove our polycarbonate clear window. So let's dive right into it. And I'll show you exactly how to get it out. All right, so you're only gonna take a hex five. I don't know exactly what size that is. But you'll see on your tools, it just says H5, it's hex, hex five bit. Um, gonna put that on our drill. I tried doing this with a ratchet and it was taking forever to back these screws out because they're in there pretty good. But just make sure that it's the right bit or the right hex head before you go and do this. Because the last thing you wanna do to strip these out. So we've got this on a soft surface, as you can see on this microfiber. And I'm just gonna slowly loosen these. Okay, talking about stripping it, and I just stripped that one. Get all these out. But then it's still gonna be loose up there. I don't know. I couldn't get that one all the way off. So see if we can just slide this out. With okay, so that slides out or slid out. I really wanted to get this whole thing off so I could show you guys, but I really don't want to mess up this, this bolt any more than it already is. But as you can see, there's a gasket, if you can see in there, um, there's a, a green looking gasket. I don't know, I'm colorblind, but there's a gasket ring in here that sits right on top of this piece with the main housing piece and that's to ensure a nice tight fit to prevent any leakage because so i'm going to carefully without scratching this I'm going to take our protective film off No, 
Uh, let me put some gloves on because fingerprints will drive me nuts out of them on the inside. This peeled back. The other side peeled. You're going to want to make sure this is peeled off before you put it in there because it's not, you're not going to be able to get to the edges, obviously. With it pinched in there. All right, so we're going to very carefully slide this in. All right, boom, new one's in. Get that wiped off. All right, new one's in. Put our hardware back in, and then we can get it put back on the bike. And just like anything else, you're gonna want to go in a star pattern when you're tightening these down. Go slowly at first so you don't cross thread. All right. Boom, good as new, clear. No longer have this. So if you wanted to and have this powder coated to get rid of the lettering, it doesn't really bother me at this point, honestly. Um, but if you wanted to get this powder coated, you can take um, these five bolts out like you just saw and take them to a powder coater if you do it or whatever, and it can very easily be matched with that gold and just powder coated over. So I'm just gonna clean this up. We'll get the uh, the factory one off. Don't forget, if you're, whenever you're doing your um, derby cover stuff, if you take it off, if you're changing anything, swapping covers, make sure you put your seal back in I just bought a brand new seal when we did this last primary fluids change. So just make sure you put your um, gasket seal back in there. So let's um, get this over to the bike. We'll get it up on our trusty brick. Put our brick underneath our jiffy stand. That way the bike is level. That way when we take our derby cover bolts off and cover off, all of our primary fluid, or at least a big majority of it, doesn't come spilling out onto the ground. The bike needs to be level or you will lose primary fluid. Grab our brick. This brick really is the perfect height for this bike to be completely level. Shout out to the homie Dustin. Rest in peace, buddy. He sent me this brick. A little inside joke but that came all the way from uh, Kentucky so anyway so we'll lift up our bike get our brick slid under there oh like I said it is literally perfectly upright. I don't know why it works so good. It just does. A lift would be even better, but we're working with what we got. All right. With the power of YouTube magic, let's get this off and the new one on. All right. And just like that, it's on. Replaced, glass is clear, looking good again. I'm gonna start it. Let's get it off of the brick. Yeah, make sure it's not gonna leak on us.
as they say, is that. Hopefully you guys didn't hear me over the screaming neighbor kids. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Five bolts, get the cover off, slide the old piece of uh, polycarbonate out and put the new one in. Easy peasy, just make sure everything's nice and tight. Make sure you transfer your gasket back to the derby cover if you are swapping the derby cover and just make sure everything's tight and check it like we just did for leaks. And if you have no leaks, you're good to go. So appreciate you guys for uh, stopping by. Hopefully this video served you well. Much love from Utah. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Until next time, deuces. See you guys. Bye.